Father God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Father, we just give you praise and honor. Father, we repent of all of our sins, yeah. and we ask you, Lord, to forgive us as we forgive those who have sinned against us. And then we turn around and we forgive ourselves so that the devil cannot put us on a guilt trip. Father God, I thank you for being you say bye to anything that hinders anyone that's listening from their dreams, their visions, and their goals. Press on is what the Bible said. Forget about the past and press on toward the future. Press on toward the light. Run, run, run. But even that is not going to gain you anything if you don't have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I'm Evangelist Donna Jones. This is my niece, Valerie Howard. Hello. This is my brother, Daryl. Neither. And <clears throat> we just want to give praise and honor to God today. Because you know what? <clears throat> Whatever we did yesterday, it's over with. It's over with. And this is a brand new day. New mercy. And I'm, I'm excited about talking about God. I'm excited about being in the kingdom. I'm excited about God keeping me. I'm excited that he made me in his own image. I'm just excited. Amen? Amen. Amen. And I want to, um, uh, it says here, a lot of people are out there and a lot of temptation is out there. Amen? Amen. But I read this book and I, it was really, really good. It was uh, Strength to Resist Temptation. Okay. Strength. God gave us the strength because he said, see, a lot of people go before God and they want to say, pray for my strength. And I, I tell them I can't because Nehemiah 8 and 10 says, the joy <laughs> of the Lord is your strength. Mm -hmm. So you know how you yeah. praise God all the time and how we, yeah. we repent and, and begin to thank God because what we do is we look around and see all the blessings. And I tell them, let me give you this scripture. The joy of the Lord is your strength. So now what you do is you begin to rejoice. Think about where God brought you from. See the hand of God. A lot of times people want to be excited in church. Mm -hmm. Duh. They want to come to church and get all excited about come somebody dancing and screaming and falling out. That ain't it. It's for you to look around and see what he did for right. you. Amen. See, you looking at other folks and, God, and, and you're waiting on God to do something in your life. And God is waiting on you to take a step for you. It's an individual thing. Yeah, she can amen. shout all she wants. She can be loud all she wants. Because the Bible says, make a joyful noise. And yeah. I understand noise is something uh, loud. And so she brings an energy, because y'all don't get to see her before we start this program. Y'all have no clue. <laughs> and <laughs> even Caleb and Jason, they kind of look back and like, whoa. But see, she's bringing laughter and joy to us. Him, he come in happy, right. showing his right. teeth. Hallelujah. You know, you know, you know, when it said the joy of the Lord, you know, I take that as to say, let's cut through the chase, the love of the Lord. You well, I had to, to read what the scripture know, yeah, said. Well, he said well, the joy. The, well, see, when you love him and you know where you, he brought you from, you got, that. you got to have joy. I mean, you got to realize, yeah. <clears throat> you, bring woo, joy. you know, and, with the tears of joy, yeah. you know, because you... If you go to church, even if you don't understand why people over there crying and boo-hooing, it's not sadness. Right. It's the joy of the Lord mm -hmm. where I know I should have been mm. somewhere else. Oh. <laughs> but I'm here today. Mm -hmm. And you it's just the Holy Spirit that's in you just right. rejoices and, and, and you can't do anything but cry. Uh, they used to call me big old cry baby. Every time I stepped in the church, I started crying. But, but uh, he sure. brought me a long, yeah. long ways. Yeah. From, and you know what? Uh, Along with what you're talking about, the joy, when you think about the joy, the Lord is our strength. Mm -hmm. they, and because a lot of people are out there and they're, they're not happy, right? Well, for whatever reason. But you know what? Get, don't put yourself on a guilt trip. Because right. just like he said and the word said, he said, um, 
I will remember, this is something I think is good, because he says, I will remember your sins no more. So you putting your own self on a, a guilt trip. You're bringing things, and I want to, uh, um, he said in uh, Isaiah 43, 25, I, God, I am the Christ. I am the one who forgives all your sins for my sake. I will not remember your sins. Listen to that. I will not remember your sins. Now that's enough to begin to rejoice. Yeah. And, and, and then the other day, Pastor Williams at Restoration um, Ministry, he said, you know, we always quote that, well, people don't know the scripture, they'll, they'll say Jesus wept, right? right? Pastor Williams threw it down, threw down on that. He said, Jesus wept that I'd be free. Jesus wept that yeah. I would be saved. Jesus wept that I would be prosperous. Jesus wept that yeah, I would be healed. Yeah. Ain't that good? Mm -hmm. That is he, good. And, and I like that. He wept for you. Yeah. He, he was said all right. Yes, sir. He was all right. He was nothing wrong with him. He was weeping for you. He was crying for yep. you. Yes. He, he wept and, 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 and put us in the places where we would receive his best. He put us in the places <clears> where he knew if there would no no hurt, harm, or danger would come to us. He mm. wept and sent his only begotten son, Jesus, to die that we would be taken care of. He mm. said, my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Mm. Isn't that awesome? Yes, indeed. Mm. You know, one of the things I, I, I really enjoy is when he said, I'll never leave you or forsake you. No, that's right. And that keeps me covered. Mm. Regardless, yeah. when no, I slip and, ma and, and, and make a mistake, mm. Mm. he mm. says, I'll stand by you. Mm -hmm. You just correct the mistake, mm. Mm -hmm. you know. Mm. You correct the mistake. We live and we learn. It took me 25, mm. <laughs> <laughs> it took me 25 years of of uh, understanding <clears throat> but not doing. Mm -hmm. So it's never too late until the lights are out, right. if you understand what I'm saying. So let's try to Amen. get you know, <laughs> <laughs> to the lights. Oh, okay. no, he didn't go to <laughs> So there's all, you know, as long as you're breathing, mm -hmm. there's a chance for your life to be a joyful. Amen. Well, let's say it like a joyful in mind. <laughs> and okay. I, you know, okay. enjoy yeah. going mine. Yeah, so. and, and that, <clears throat> that's part of the fruits of the spirit. And love comes above yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, Love comes above it. With love, you, and you, yeah. you think about your life. I think about way back in the day when we didn't even know Christ. I think about the day when my husband and I was uh, smoking reefer yeah. and and getting high, not knowing because it was dark. I never had been to Virginia. I'm gone. You know, I got the kids in the back seat coughing. <laughs> 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 coughing. Wow. <clears throat> Can y'all stop that smoking? Not realizing that as I'm driving on the highway, there is no protection. There is no really? railing. I'm following a semi truck. Ne ne never been to Virginia. Never knew there was a drop. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of feet down. No, didn't know that. Yeah. That's why I'm rejoicing. Well, you know, you know, a lot mm -hmm. of people who have never mm -hmm. been in Virginia or California, that is, when you get in the mountains, uh -uh. there is, stand up. there is no, ooh, there is nowhere to pull over <laughs> if you have a flat. <laughs> yeah. And you will, if, 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 you lose control, mm -hmm. you're going off the ledge. Right. Nobody, you know, and that's just the way it is. So you, you literally have to ride with God. Wait a minute. I'm wrong. Forgive me. You literally have to ride with God. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Get in the back seat. Let him do the driving. Okay. You know, you just sit there and pray. Jesus and take I'm the wheel. Right. What would you say? Jesus take the wheel. Yeah, <coughs> because I, mean, I don't want yeah. him to be the co-pilot. I well, want him know, to be the pilot. You know, not trying to get off into a whole different subject, but when I first went to California, me and a friend of mine, 
had never been there. Well, he had seen more of the world than I had because I think I was like 17 when I went. Mm -hmm. And uh, Herschel Britt. Yep. And I, I finally took the wheel and I was up in the mountain where we were coming down then. And the scene mine was in the back of me flashing the light and, and my friend was telling me to, man, speed up. And I said, man, I'll forget him. <laughs> he said, man, you better speed up. And I said, I'll forget him. He reached over, took the wheel and stepped on the gas for me to speed up, he, and he explained to me later, he will knock you off, <laughs> and nobody will ever know why you went over the edge. Wow. And he can't help it. It's not something delivered. A truck driver can't help it because he can't stop his rig wow, coming really? down. Wow. You can't stop that. <clears throat> when you go out to places like this, you ever seen runaway truck? Mm -hmm. That's what that's for. So when they, you know, they can't stop it. They can, they can drop the gears, and they can pump their brakes, but they literally cannot stop that rig. No. Because, you know, <clears throat> the force of it and whatever you're carrying mm -hmm. is pushing you forward. So now me not knowing that, uh, I look back and thank God for that moment mm -hmm. in time that had I been by myself, mm -hmm. You would have been. He could have pushed me over. Uh, you know, I mean, it's little things that you have to look for to mm. see what God has done for you. Ooh. Don't ever think that you just walk through this life on your own and everything just, it, that's just a coincidence. There is no coincidences. Right. And you know what? I, and I know you have many things to be grateful for. Mm -hmm. I know that God has really blessed you and your children and yes, your I job was. and giving you things. But have you ever gone through anything? That could be devastating. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think when I lost my father and when I divorced, those were traumatic for me. It was my family, you know what I mean? And I was talking to a lady yesterday, and I was just saying <clears throat> what God has done for me. Mm -hmm. You know, and I know I, I could be on the fifth floor. That's where I should have been. But the, well, the grace, grace and God. mercy, woo! Mm -hmm. What he has done for me. Mm -hmm. is unspeakable joy, unspeakable joy. I know where mm -hmm. I should have been, where I could be. I know where I am, mm -hmm. and I well, know what know, he's done for know. me. And I get choked up when I think about and what he's niece, done for me. Mm -hmm. Out of all the things I've seen you go through, you know, I'm one of them, ah, oh, that's nothing, that's nothing. But there's one thing you went through that always touches, here we go, don't you start, dude. Can't clean <laughs> yeah, That always touches my heart, and that is your oldest daughter. Wow, Maurice. Maurice. Because the devil was definitely after her. Mm -hmm. Wow. She did. She she stayed in the hospital so long. Yeah. And yes, came. Next. And as you see her today, she always she's Happy. active and she. Yeah. You know. And, 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 and look at that. And see, that's that. If somebody said, "Well, what Val go through?" That's the only thing I see. And I guess that's because and, of the yeah. love that I have for my niece. Right, because she candy. does have special yeah. needs, and, and mm -mm. you really and she is you can't the, tell. I mean, she, she, yeah. She's in school. Yeah, she's high school. And she got, and she got a she, job. Yeah, she worked. She <laughs> worked. And that is what <laughs> God has works. done for me, because my baby is. Yeah, as a matter of fact, see, she slept with me last night. Yeah, see, so. And so. I was just saying today, I was like, she said, Mom, we going to go somewhere today? You know, she is. That's my baby. Yeah, see, you know. Now. She's 15. She's 15. And yeah. she's gone through a trade. She thing. has. She has. God has been good. She used to have a G tube. She had. Uh, now, matter of fact, Sister Ammons was a nurse. God sent Sister Ammons to what lay hands on her. What when I tell you, Sister mm -hmm. Ammons showed up and showed out. Woo! Mm -hmm. So see, you you sometimes Amen. you have to look where your blessings yes. are. And you know, like I said, the joy of the Lord is our strength. When you look back and you think about, because I remember in the, in the days where I, <clears throat> again, I was in the world. And when I crossed over the railroad tracks, a train mm. went behind me because mm. I didn't see the train. The, the things were not down. Yeah. So we went across mm. and that train, and I didn't drive for I know a couple of weeks, okay? But I look back now and I don't have any reason to be unjoyful. Mm. I have mm. no reasons, amen? amen. We, we know what God is doing in our lives and people have to begin to look 
At, and you know, some people say, well, I ain't never had no problems. I ain't mm -hmm. never had, you know, I've never gone through that. But there has been something that, has, that brought you down to the point where you couldn't be you, you couldn't think about no dreams, you couldn't think about no goals, you couldn't think about uh, visions uh, to push you on, to try something different, you, you, to ask God, you know. To oh, reveal, to open your eyes. That you know, I was thinking the today. The hands of God kept he you. He says, for those who can hear, let them hear. And for those who can hear. see, let them see. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, I take that ad. Look around you. If you in the world, when I was in the world on drugs, crazy as a Betsy bug, all the things <laughs> I had to live for, I was trying to kill myself. Mm. That is what you call blind. Oh, yeah. You know, it's not that I knew better, but you do know better, but you really, okay. you really are being blind and manipulated. You think this is the way this goes. Everybody's doing it. Well, I got news for you. Everybody's not doing it. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Okay. And <clears throat> God just put his hand on me and said, uh, that's not the way I'm going to go. I mean, uh, I remember so many times that I od sitting mm -hmm. down with a group of guys and they don't know I'm od in. So, but God would always bring me out of it mm -hmm. and as a Fool, and I can say fool if I can prove I'm a fool. Okay, then you know I, I know. would go right back. <laughs> I would go right back and you do it again. Know I know. Well, I'm saying when he brings you out of this, how can you not love him? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. how can you not love him? A lot of times, like I said uh, the other day in church, a lot of times people they want to. They, they had the I want to, yeah. but they're so afraid that they have to give up something. Yeah. They are, don't start. They are, it's my turn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I, can I have a chance? I'll drink can, to that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they are so Ooh, afraid that, so that they have to give up something. You need this here. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, um, we can't advertise <laughs> other things. So okay, hello. <laughs> uh, but I'm excited about knowing if I, I know there's some things that I don't have to experience to know that God is real, right. you know, Absolutely. but a lot of people don't want to give up because they don't want to drop what they're doing. They don't want to stop lying. You know, they don't want to stop uh, going out there and, and, and doing the things that they think is making the flesh happy. So that makes them happy. Well, now I don't have to look over my shoulder because I look to God. I look mm. this way. I don't look to the left. I don't look right. to the right. Yeah, right. I, I look this way. I focus on, okay, some things. I know I ain't supposed to do this. I know, you know, but I yield to it. I'm, I'm not exempt, right. but I, I repent and try not to do it again. And so, so people that uh, are in a certain, like, they stagnated because they want the joy that they see in us. Mm -hmm. They want it, but they don't want to serve Christ. Right, right. And so and it's harder to be out in the world than it is to serve Christ. It is, and you don't understand that people think it's, it's harder to be good, but it's not. It just mm. it just and, happens. And, and, you know, and, and you all know, the goodness come out yeah, of you. And you what, think, why well, wouldn't I? But one of the things is, I love it, I love it. Uh, Mm. Whenever I talk about the love of the Lord mm -hmm. and the things that we do in the world, I say one thing, who are you listening to? Yeah. And when I say who are you listening to, there are, uh, the Bible tells us there are other spirits that talk to you. So if you go with the uh, worldly spirit and what they're going on today, Mm. Well, you're going to get what the world gets. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be the same. You know, uh, whatever you do, uh, come from what you have learned. And Agreed? Then they, yeah, what you have yeah. learned to do. I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I had to learn to be a Christian. Mm -hmm. I, I had to learn to be a Christian. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I've always confessed to knowing God, which that's a false confession, but 
uh, I, it's something that you have to learn to do. You have to practice it. You can't sit there and say, I know God, and you can't tell me what he's doing for you. Oops. Well, if you know it, well, if you know him, now I'm not saying this, God said, or Jesus said this, if you know me and love me, you will do as I ask. And, and here's a scripture that I just came up on, and it says, because you listen to God when you accepted him, because like, like you just said, mm -hmm. you didn't know him. And a lot of people say, I know there's a God, but that's all you got. You know there is a God, but you got to accept him into your life Amen. to get what we got. Now, none of us, like I said, and I, I have to keep putting emphasis on this, none of us are perfect, right. but we're striving to be perfect because everything that God wants us to be, God is. God is love. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. God is not right. going to tell us to do something that he ain't already done. Amen. God told me I am worthy. I heard somebody pray, praying one day, and they said, I'm not worthy. Well, when it was over, I said, oh, yes, you are. If you say you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then you worthy. are worthy. You, know. you are righteous. You are uh, in the kingdom. You have been delivered. You are everything that you don't know you are. Mm -hmm. And a lot of churches don't teach you. They want to talk about salvation. Salve okay, and one day I say, well, what comes after salvation? <laughs> Some got to come right. after, you know, I'm, all, I'm saved. You know, I didn't repent it, you know. Uh, I, I like that. And that, that's kind of, I like that because uh, when people say, uh, you know, I'm like an old filthy rag and not. You know, and I'll be like, how where y'all? I'm not, <laughs> and I am worthy, mm -hmm. and I'm a king. So how can you say I'm not worthy when Jesus says I am? Right. What I don't get that. that, that they you know, make. and and they don't understand. He's talking of when he say all, uh, you know, uh, all that. That that was before uh, 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 I was saved. Oh, hold up. What I got? I'm a sinner saved. I'm a sinner saved by grace. No such thing. Right. right. No such thing. You can't be a sinner and a saint at the same it's time. Okay. I'm a <coughs> sinner saved by no. no. You need to know who you are. I'm a saint. You need. I'm a saint. I'm a Christian. Christ, I'm living. You know, Christ like. I'm in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. and here we go. Here we go back. I'm unique. I'm precious. Because I mess up, don't that doesn't. Me Dang. messing up don't take away from what I am. Right. Amen. And, and, and every day when I'm around people mm -hmm. and they say these things, you can't correct them. So here's my opportunity. I can, let, I can find an opportunity to, to go to them and tell them what the word says. No, 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 no. I am not a sinner no more. I have accepted Jesus Christ. Romans 10, 9, and 10. Now listen to this. Saved always, saved for Donna Jones. I don't know what nobody in the world is going to do. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Say always save for Donna Jones. That's as far as I'm going to take that. Because I know who I am. I know what power I got and I know what God gave me. He gave me freedom. He gave me life. And I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed with what God has done for me. And I, I will not let no devil in hell Take that from me. Oh, you know. Right. But wait a minute. Those out there, you need to always go and find out what you're being taught. Like I said, <coughs> save, save, save was all I heard for years and years and years. And one day, one day, say one day. One, one day. day. I went and started searching and seeking. I burned the midnight oil for four years. I'd wake my husband up, look what I found, look what I found. I'm excited. He's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> but I was burning, you know, remember, my kids used to say, shh, my mama's praying. I burned the midnight oil to find out the truth. And I, people need to burn the midnight oil. Mm -hmm. Get from God what he's saying to you. Don't take what God is saying mm -hmm. to me for you. You, it could be the same word. It could be the same scripture. But God said, uh, 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 you, you don't have to make no appointment with him to get wisdom and understanding. Because yeah. he said, in all your getting, get understanding. Mm 
Amen. And th that's the reason why I I'm trying to let people know, receive Jesus Christ. You've never experienced any, any love wow. like the love of Christ. I don't care what I, if I turn around and this TV station go off and I get to cussing, I'm going to repent and he, God is never going to point a finger at me. Amen. He's Amen. never going to judge me. I'm the one that has to go before the throne. And he's going to come on, baby. I know you made a mistake. Come on and I forgive you. Now move on. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You know, I want to say scripturally. It says that uh, when we died on the cross with Jesus, we died as sinners. We came, we were risen as saints. So I can no longer be a sinner. I can yes. sin, but I can't be a sinner mm -hmm. because God made me a saint. Right. And you know what? When we sin and repent real quickly, because we got to go off here, when we sin, God says, repent, he'll take it. What did I just read? And, don't, and throw it into the lake of well, forgetfulness. No, he, that, yeah, for, for, as far for, as the he, north is from and, the and west. And you can bring that up to God north. for years and years and years, and God is looking at you saying, what? Are you talking mm -hmm. about? Are you talking about? <laughs> I love it. I, what? Mm -hmm. Donna, what? What is that? You know, isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. I'm, yes, you know what? I'm thanking God for you. I'm thanking God, and I pray that we, when we speak, as my daughter says, marinate it on the inside. Mm -hmm. Just marinate all that God has given you. Begin to move about for Christ's sake. Begin to thank him for what you have. I don't care if it's a cardboard box. Amen. You thank God for that cardboard box. Mm -hmm. You thank God Amen. that somebody bought you a dinner. Amen. You thank God that God sent that do doctor and you're healed. You thank God for whoever knocked on your door to show you love. You taking it for the wrong reason, but God sent that person just to show you some love. That you not only have to get the love from them, but love on yourself. I have no problem saying, hmm, I'm cute. And I love me some me. Because okay. <laughs> when I love me some me, I'm loving on Christ. Because he's great as he is in me. He okay. loves himself. But he loves me. He probably he loves me. He, not no probably. He loves me better than I love myself. And I really love myself. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Be you saved by. Hallelujah. Wasn't that good? Amen. See, that word bounced back on me. I love it. I love it when it bounced back and I get. Mm. <laughs> Woo! Be you saved by. God bless you. Give us a call and go to the, the website. Be mm -hmm. you saved by. Go to Facebook, be you say bye. Begin to rejoice and write and say how happy you are. Begin to thank God for the love and the peace that you have. Begin to praise God for your children that you that baby came through your womb. Begin to pray for the God that he put a seed in you and you got children and, and, and raise them up the way that God called them. Amen. Raise them and train them the way that they should go. Mm -hmm. I love you. God bless you. God this bless. is be you. Say bye. God bless you.